What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing a Fire Force character, a Patreon request from King on Patreon. Arthur from Fire Force. So let's go, landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So. Right, so we start with his eyes. Center point of my page, about here. I'll come up over to the right and we'll just do this diagonal line. Right, down that way. And then this kind of hooks down here, so it becomes like this spike, right? And you want to thicken up the top eyelid a good bit, right? So it goes like this kind of shape. And then his bottom eyelid sort of joins that, so it'll go sort of around here. And then up to there. Real slanted eyes. So then his iris hooks down this way, right? And it, it is these two hooks on either side. So it goes in like that. And then his pupil is white. Just there. Got a little line here. And his eyebrow kind of cuts off the top of his eyelash, right? So it goes, ticks up just across here. And then the other side, just so you have a golden sort of color space going that way. And then his eyelid comes down there. Right, so his, his eyebrow kind of cuts across his eye that way. So the other eye, we do the same thing. Down, hook. And then we thicken it up like this side. So you got that hook goes up. And then in. Bottom eyelid, thinner line just comes across. And then his pupil and iris. So we just do these two hook lines. There's a gap between them. You can join them if you want, but just the style of Fire Force, they don't. They just leave it like that and then cut a blue inside. So it's kind of up to you what way you want to do it. But. That's the way it is in the image. So we'll go pupil, just a white pupil. It's not colored black. It's just white. A lot of his eyes colored, covered with hair as well. Another sort of eye line there. And then the eyebrow again. So we just here, cuts across. So then the other side up to there. So for his nose, so we've got like some hatching just coming across the top of his nose, the bridge of his nose just there. And he's got a little curve line just here. And then two real small nostrils. It's an unusual style nose. His mouth then downturned, sort of serious, like that. You can leave it like that if you want, but in the picture, his mouth is open a little bit. So we just do a gap just here. And then his bottom lip, just there. Chin then down from there, third line, like so. And if you're wondering about proportions, eyebrow to the nostril, see this space, is about the same as nostril to the chin. So here to here is about the same as here to here, top of his eye there, where the eye sort of meets the eyebrow. That is the same as that. And then nostril to the bottom lip, sort of area here to here, is about the same as here to here. Say like top of his bottom lip, or the teeth maybe. Here and here are about the same, just this area. Okay. So then we do his jaw. So we'll go. Yeah. 
it back so side of his face up here and you could keep going but it's covered in hair so there's no point right so we'll just do his fringe so he's got like these three spikes that come down the middle of his fringe here say so we'll go big one comes across his nose smaller one then and then here And then more that come across his eyebrow and his eyes and stuff. The one just here. Just do the other side. Long one here. Another one just covers his ear here. Okay, so we can see some of his ear on this side. So it like comes out around to there and a little bit inside underneath here. And then like some, just some ear lines just there. And then some ear lines inside here. So the rest of his hair, he's got this like big round head, right? So where's the head, you ask? So like top of his head to the eyebrow is about the same as eyebrow to the chin, okay? So in human proportion, the eyes are about halfway down the head, like to the skull, you know? So like if his skull was here, eyes to, the eyes would be halfway between the chin and the top of the skull. So that's about the same. But because he has hair, you have to go up a little bit higher. So I like to say eyebrow. So eyebrow top of the head, about the same as eyebrow to chin. This space, whatever this is, bring it up that much again. And then you'll add, you'll know kind of where the top of his head is then. So here, here, maybe a little bit more even. Say like top of his eyebrows. So there and there. Right, so roughly this, you want this to be kind of your halfway between here and here. So just here. Okay. And then the rest of his hair will come down from that. So like a big curved line. Comes back in and then this will eventually go down behind his neck, right? So you'll add as much of that as you, you want really and then we'll go down the other side and just add some spikes that kind of stick out a little bit and the hair goes behind his neck which is just here Maybe like a little bit more texture lines just on his hair. Like so. Color for his uniform. The white part comes across. We've got a little V in the center. It goes across here. It goes, it goes behind his neck. Like that. A neckline here, here, here. Hatching 
the lines just on it in that fire force style. Then the black part of the collar comes across the middle, dips down a bit and then down this way. Line up the center, and then we got a button, and then the shoulder comes off this way. Good rule of thumb for main character is like face width, not his ears, the face here to here will bring out sort of the edge of his shoulder. And so the width of his face will go out to kind of to where the edge, not the hair, not the ears, the face, right? So it's thinner here. Okay, and then some fold lines just there. Maybe there should be a line maybe going down the middle. I don't know if there is in Fire Force, but we'll add one. Can't see it in the picture. So we can't see his other shoulder because he's holding his sword, right? So it stops about here, and then we have a hand in here, and then a big sword that's in a bag. So, so I'll probably zoom into this hand for you. So the hand sits on, is sitting on his shoulder holding a strap. So we got a line going down that way for the white of his shirt here. And then the black goes out and we got like a button there. Then his wrist comes out there. And your wrist joins your thumb on this side, right? So we go around, bump out for a knuckle, and then curve for the next knuckle there. So a couple of bumps there now. Knuckle, change direction, up, knuckle, change direction. And then we go around top of the thumb. So you see you have like two sections in a thumb and three sections in a finger. You just do two. And then the palm of his hand comes down this way. Like that. And the palm on the other side there. And some like wrist bone things that way. Side of his hand will go out here. And he's holding onto a strap which comes across. And we've got like four knuckles that go up here. So you can do them like this. So bump. 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 Okay. Each of those corresponds to a finger. This is the little finger which goes down. And then you see this strap that he's holding. There. And then each finger. So coming down from each of these gaps. One. Two. Three. And you can actually see the tip of the little finger here, kind of. So it goes... around like this and then the ring finger and then we have some knuckle lines and some fingernails can't see his thumbnail right so in the bag that the sword is hanging out of so well, actually, so the strap comes out here first again. This is like a little white strap that goes out this way. And then the bag. So we go up, around, this way, and then that big sword handle that comes out so you could maybe use a ruler for some of this if you want it so because this is quite difficult and it's like double lines i'll do it with a single line because my my marker won't do the double lines they'll just all be together so we have this cross this is tricky Okay, no, no easy way of doing this, right? So we've got a cube. So it's like a square. It sits there. 
and then this goes diagonal down to there and then goes out this is like an old sort of English style sword okay so from this corner we curve it around to there and that meets the other corner of this one so it goes up across and then you've got the square or rectangle side of that one there and the bottom of it so it's kind of 3d and then the inside of this one goes up to there this is pretty advanced now so take your time it's not easy getting this three-dimensional sh shape you know twisted so this goes down that way curves around again and then you meet the square edge of the top part of the sword which goes into there and the other side of this comes down down to there it goes around like that out around the back of his head this meets the other side into there and again those are double lines but i can't do it because they'll just smudge together because this the nib on this uh, pen is quite thick so if you're using a pencil you can do that okay so ruler time so we'll go up towards the top this way there and then the side right, and then this has a cap on top it just comes across and then diagonal down this way to make it look a bit three-dimensional and then we will go this way and then these have like lines going this way and then each of these comes across this side And then it has a box on top. Like that. Uh, oh, and he has some stuff on his collar here as well. He's got that cross here as well. So I'll just do this smaller. So it goes across. Down. And then a rectangle shape here with another rectangle shape inside and lines towards the corners like that all right but i think that's everything that is how to draw arthur from fire force another sort of shoulder line or something there hope it's helpful king thanks for watching see you in the next one bye